All right, now in this example, we're going to be looking at this sequence here and determining if it is a Fibonacci type sequence. That is a sequence where to figure out a current term, I would just add the previous two terms. And if this is a Fibonacci sequence, we're going to figure out what the next two terms are going to be. So this one will be a little bit tricky because we've got fractions here. But if this is a Fibonacci sequence, then 5 over 6 should be equal to the sum of these previous two terms. So let's see if it works. I'm going to have 5 over 6 equals 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. So in order to add these fractions, I need the denominator to be the same. So I'll multiply 2 on the top and bottom over here. And I'll multiply 3 on the top and bottom over here. And if I do that, I'm going to get 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6. And when you add fractions, as long as the denominators are the same, you just add straight across. So I'm winding up with 5 sixths. So yes, so far, this is a behaving the rule or following the pattern. Let's check the next one. If it's a Fibonacci sequence, then 7 over 6 should be the sum of the previous two terms. So 7 over 6 equals 5 over 6 plus 1 over 3. Now, because I see that I wanted a denominator of 6, I notice that I already figured out how to write a third with a denominator of 6 over here. I already had to do this to figure out the previous part. So I'm going to write the third, but I'm going to write it as 2 over 6 because now the denominators match, and I will just add straight across. So when you again, when the denominators match, just add the tops. So 5 plus 2 is 7. So it's 7 over 6, and so far, this is obeying the rule. So let's do the next one. 2 should be the sum of these previous two numbers. So let's see if 2 equals 7 over 6 plus 5 over 6. Well, in this case, my denominators already match. No work and no remembering what I did before necessary. I'm just going to add straight across. So 7 plus 5 is going to be 12 divided by 6. And 12 divided by 6 is indeed 2. All right, one more to go. We need to see if 19 over 6 is equal to the sum of the previous two numbers. So that's going to be 2 plus 7 over 6. Now again, same thinking. I already have 2 written with a denominator of 6. So I'm going to write it that way. 2 plus 7 over 6. And as long as the denominators match, I'm just going to add straight across. So 12 plus 7, that is indeed 19 over 6. So all the way through, it's obeying the rule. It's doing the Fibonacci sequence, or the Fibonacci type sequence, where each term is the sum of the previous two terms. So yes, this is a Fibonacci type. OK, so let's find the next two terms. So if I want the next term that would go right here in the mystery dots, I would add 19 over 6 to 2. Again, I want a denominator of 6, so I'm going to write 2 as 12 over 6. So 12 over 6 plus 19 over 6. And this is giving me, if I add straight across, that's going to be 12 plus 19 is going to be 31 over 6. So that's the next term. And I'll go ahead and put it right here. 31, and turn that into a fraction over 6. Now the next term would be the sum of these two terms. So I'm going to have 31 over 6 plus 19 over 6. Add straight across. This is 41 plus 9. It's 31 plus 19. And I'm doing it by adding the 10 and then adding the 9. So 41 plus 9 is 50 over 6. And I can simplify this. I can divide the top and the bottom by 2, and that's giving me 25 over 3. And so that would be the next term. And of course, if you're bored, you can carry on and do more. But for now, we're going to stop right there. This is a Fibonacci type sequence, and the next two terms are 31 over 6 and 25 over 3. And that is this example.